göra. Sizin dostunuz. Fadi. So, ben de Welcome, welcome to another episode of the WSXM podcast. To where a United Africa is on, on this Africa. So, to get in the video, that it does so. That's the, prior, the Foreign Affairs Minister of Zambia. He's shown in this video, counting out his local currency, but it's 50,000 um, US. And it said he also received um, a Mercedes Benz. But the, is the same. Person who is doing the deal with is the one who released the video and it went viral in Zambia. But let's get into the reason why. First, he handed in his, his resignation. Look at it right there. Put, put it up so we can get a read of it. In view of the matter that is currently in the media regarding malicious claims over business transaction between my private family business and our business partner with whom we still have good relations. So that's odd. Somebody is trying to. Blackmail and telling you still have a good, a good relationship, a good relation with them. But according to some information I have gotten, this video was put out because he was double dipping. He sold the business, the copper, the copper mine to this, the gentleman for two hundred thousand plus a Mercedes Benz, right? And then now he turned around and tried to sell it to another investor, this copper mine, another investor. Then because of that, now they put this video out. To force him to keep to his original sale, but this went viral in Zambia and it's it's it, it's all over the country. But he resigned, as I said in the video, and and the president also accepted his resignation. Let me put up his let me put up the exception of the president before getting the deeper. President Hakili, I can't pronounce his name so properly, so forgive me. Has accepted the resignation of the Honorable Stanley Akumbo. MP from his cabinet position as Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. The President acknowledges the commendable work and leadership. And he's a good foreign, Minister of Foreign Affairs because I've listened to uh, he gave a speech in the UN and, uh, and it was good and he, he, he put the country he did some good work for the country but I don't think this is he was doing any selling Government, uh, government access or anything. Like that. I think I do believe it's actually a um, a family, a family business he was selling. But what he did was it still make him look like he's accepting bribe, like this is a bribery. That's how it looks. But they're gonna go to court, and then the Zambian government also gonna get investigate because they have a corruption, a corruption, and they have a corruption um le um arm of the government that. That um that um <laughs> that in the investigate all allegations of bribery and corruption. So he's gonna be thoroughly investigated and um but as I said, the Chinese investor who came out and said that they won but they they Mercedes Benz. That's how we know about the Mercedes because the person who took the video said that they won but the Mercedes and they two hundred thousand. I think there's some other figure too. Um, like they paid uh, uh, my next eight eight hundred thousand earlier. Uh, uh, it's unconfirmed, but as of now, he's resigned, which is also a good step to make sure it doesn't shine a bad light on 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 the on this party. And the president accepted it, and he did it. They didn't bash him, so I don't think it's governmental as I said, but it still looks bad. And this is what. Is holding by the continent to, to, to a degree because just like as in in Burkina Faso, where President Abraham Theory, head of the Jandam, he's one of his friends, took a, a bribery as well 40 million US to assassinate Abraham Theory. But you know, he was foiled, he got caught, he's in prison. So, this is what the Westerners does do they go around colonizers. The Chinese is doing this now too. They are 
using bribery and payoff to destabilize the continent up to this day. And we need strong uh, individuals with mor well, that's morally sound in half mind that won't take payoff to destabilize the country just because they want to become a, a quick box and become a millionaire quick and then don't care about the other citizens and, this, and then the country goes back into turmoil. So this is a tactic that, that, that has been used and worked and for decades, for centuries. But luckily we have we do have some people who is morally sound and they cannot be bought by the um but the Chinese is actually going around paying off giving bribes, paying off parliamentarians, politicians to push their project or to push their agenda or to help them to get access to to mines and to to people who is in control of mines. So you know so it's it's a thing but we we have more social media now that shining a light on more and more countries, so it's hard, it's getting more difficult for them to hide or to receive bribery and without the world knowing. So that's a good thing to have. That's why channels like this is good to have because you get to see and hear about what's going on in the continent, who who is getting bribes, who is collecting money to assassinate their presidents, and who are getting paid off to sell out the country like they sell out their their the resources. So let me know what you think about this in, um, in the comment section as always. Tell a friend, tell a friend, like, comment, share, subscribe. Boom.